Welcome to Ask Tacman. You send us your real-time PCR questions on Twitter, Facebook, or at lifetechnologies.com, and we answer them in videos for you. Today's question, what formats are possible for designing a large study? Well, the answer to this will depend on your application, the number of genes and samples you want to study, and the number of replicates. Let's break it down. Normally, we would start with a simple tube for a single assay. These are available in different scales and types to best fit your experimental need and applications. Most assays are provided at a 20x concentration. All you have to do for a 20 microliter reaction is combine one microliter of assay with master mix and sample and off you go for results. But for a larger project, we'll need to look beyond this. Using assays in 96 well plates are pretty familiar to all of us. But what about the other format options? This is a 384 well microfluidic card. It has eight loading ports, so depending on the assay layout, you can run from one to eight different samples on one card. The port is loaded with 100 microliters of sample and master mix, and then centrifuged. This forces a sample into the individual wells, which are around one microliter each, and contain a pre-spotted TACMAN assay. If you have a large study, these cards are a great way to screen a lot of samples or targets quickly. But what if you need even higher throughput? For these needs, we have a format called an open array plate. Each open array plate contains 3,072 through holes arranged into 48 subarrays. Each through hole holds a minuscule 33 nanoliter volume. The plate surface is hydrophobic while the interior of the well is hydrophilic. The assay and sample are retained in the well through this surface tension. When run on the Quant Studio 12K Flex system, up to four open array plates at a time can be used, giving you 12,000 data points in a single run. In a typical eight hour day, this means up to 110,000 data points can be generated. That's a lot of data for one very large study. So back to our number of reactions. For any project, we would need to know the number of samples, the number of targets, and the number of replicates, if applicable. This is the number of reactions required and will impact the format of our project. Well, now that we understand our throughput needs and formats, let's see how these formats can be used with some common applications. One way to save time and effort is to use a ready-made panel called a gene signature plate. You can choose a plate designed for specific pathways with a defined format and number of assays. To get your results faster, these plates are inventoried so you receive your order in just two days. These panels are available in 96 well plates, both fast and standard, 384 well microfluidic cards, or open array plates. Note that each format requires a specific matching block, so make sure you have a compatible instrument. If the gene signature plate does not fit your needs, then you can consider a custom gene expression plate. By selecting existing inventory gene expression assays, you can create your own plate in the layout of your choice. This option can be done online for the same plate types we just reviewed, 96 well plates, microfluidic cards, and open array plates. If you need an array with custom or made to order gene expression assays, then you can use our custom plating option for the most flexibility. But maybe you're studying microRNAs instead. Well, for years, we have offered a standard layout of one sample per card as either human or rodent microfluidic cards. Now you can get these same targets in an open array plate for even more throughput, running three samples per plate with the same content. If you need more customization, you can now configure your own microRNA card using the same user-friendly online tool to select any pre-designed microRNA assay in the format you want. Choose from one to eight samples per card. Finally, for the ultimate flexibility and layout and assays, we have a custom plating option. Here, you can select the number of assays, application type, and plate type. Notice that whereas everything we looked at previously was for gene expression or microRNA assays only, custom plating allows you to choose any assay type. So for example, this is a good option for large genotyping or copy number studies. Lastly, we mentioned earlier that for high throughput options, we can offer the open array format. These plates are available as some select standard sets, such as microRNA 
or pharmacogenomics panel, or completely customizable for gene expression and genotyping assays. Ultimately, your project will come down to the total number of reactions required and the plate type available to you. Remember that for profiling, replicates typically are not used, but they will be needed if you want statistically significant data. So keep this in mind as part of your experimental plan. Well, I hope that helps clear things up. We're making new videos based on your real-time PCR questions. Send them to us on Twitter, Facebook, or at lifetechnologies.com forward slash asktacman.